Welcome, it's Bud Dog with the Texas Space Navy bringing you another Star Citizen video. And today we bring you day five of the IAE. And what is in day five? None other than Crusader Industries and Tumbrel uh, Land Systems. So let's go ahead and take a look at what these two manufacturers are offering. As you know, there are a couple of new ships out from Crusader that are fresh in this patch that many of people are going to be interested in. I have done several videos on them already, and that is the Ares Starfighter, both the Ion and the Inferno. Uh, we'll go more into them, you know, when we see them up here in the Expo Hall. But first of all, how is everybody enjoying IAE? Have you already got all the ships you want? Are there certain ships you're waiting for? Let me know in the comments down below. Uh, make sure you leave a like and a subscribe as well as they, all three of those things help my channel on the YouTube algorithm and I could use all the help you guys can give me. So let's take a look at the Expo Hall and right here, oh, this is pretty phenomenal scene. If you uh, look directly ahead here, we have three different types of Hercules and then we also have three tumble nova tanks down in front let's take a closer look at these hercules so on the right yeah we're gonna start on the right this is the c2 hercules this is the completely uh cargo variant so it's only designed to fly cargo it's not a military base ship so a lot of the bigger vehicles that you have like the tumbrel novas and the ballistas can fit in this thing no problem you can fit multiples in there but you can also fit a ton of cargo right now it can carry the most cargo at any ship that's flyable in the game uh, so that's something definitely to keep your mind on if you want to have a lot of cargo uh, here in the middle is the a2 hercules this is the bomber variant the gunship variant it is bristling with guns. Guns everywhere. And then it's got these nasty size 10 bombs here uh, that can blow up in a pretty large radius. So pretty awesome. Oh, what is this? Oh, that's the door. Fine. Weird that it's on the cage here, not on the wall. I would have put it on the wall. Anyways, uh, A2 is bristling with guns, bombs, it is nasty so expect some of these to just lace an entire area to turn it into glass or broken shards of what it used to be uh, it is going to be a fun ship to use in combat uh, towards ground ops also towards ground ops these three bad boys are the nova tonks the nova tonks are fun little vehicles. I love running around in a tank and shooting at things and blowing it up. This is a size 5 gun on the front of this tank and it is nasty. It does some major damage. And then finally over here we have the M2 Hercules which is a military variant of the C2. It doesn't transport quite as much cargo uh, but it is intended to carry along you know the ground vehicles like tanks and everything else uh, as well and it's also got a jump seat up top for I think 10 soldiers something like that uh, you could carry quite a few soldiers in there there's not enough beds for them for a long haul it's only enough beds for the crew so keep that in mind if you had any designs on using this thing as a long hauler for a bunch of people Let's go over to uh, the Zenith Hall number four to take a look at the next set of offerings from Crusader and Umbral. And here we go, rounding the corner. And let's take a look at these ships here. Now, these are some of the bells of the ball, so to speak. I'm surprised they're not more front center, but the A2 did come out in 315 as well. It's just these Ares Starfighters are new to 315-1. <laughs> Look at the size of this gun. 
That thing is massive. I mean, we could zoom out. Yeah, it's not going to matter where we're zoomed. Look at the size of this thing. It is ginormous. So the one we're looking at here in front of us is the Inferno. And the Inferno is the ship that has this rotating Gatlin type gun, this minigun of Carnage. It it shreds armor, just shreds. Uh, I like the Inferno. To me, it feels better to fly right now than the Ion, but you know, they're I'm sure going to adjust a lot more stuff still. But it does have the ballistic rounds that it flies fires from here and it's going to have more armor as well whereas the ion over here is going to have better shields well theoretically in all practicality the shields are identical but in concept it's supposed to have more shield less armor and it's going to have this nasty nasty size 7 laser gun cannon here uh, it is pretty awesome I really like flying these ships and doing nasty amounts of damage in them. Uh, a lot of fun. Definitely recommend you rent these and try them out. They all come with a bunch of missiles as well, so keep that in mind. Again, Ares Ion, Ares Inferno. Great little fighters, heavy fighters. Uh, they do lots of damage. Uh, so let's move on to one of the fan favorites, the Mercury Star Runner. I like this ship a lot. I have this ship as one of my main ships on my alt account because I think it's going to be able to do a lot of things I would like to do with that account. Um, it's supposed to have a smuggler's compartment right over here. Uh, where's the button? There we go. And then you can go in here and this is a smuggler's cargo hold. Uh, then it also has this main cargo hold, and then it's got a bunch of servers, computer servers and stuff, that are designed to, you know, capture data and store data. So it's a data running ship. So it's kind of like a spy ship in a way. Really cool ship. Lots of fun. Uh, you can have a crew of three in it. Uh, that's not a maximum or a minimum, but it's, it's a fair amount for the ship. Uh, you know, you want to have people on both sets of guns, and then the pilot will have his own set of guns as well. So we've done the C2, M2, the A2, the Ion, the Inferno, and the Mercury Star Runner. What is left to look at here? Well, let's run out and see. Like, is that a floating piece of rock? Like an asteroid? It's a hologram, I'm sure. Yeah, you can see through it. <laughs> Who knows? How do y'all think CIG's handled this so far? Do you think it's been a pretty successful IAE? I feel like uh, graphically they've stepped it up a little bit over last year's. Let's go downstairs and see what they have to offer in the hollow tanks and all of that. Because there are still some stuff in concept for both of these manufacturers. First, you're going to get all these ground-based tumbrel cyclones. Uh, you know, I, I'm not going to be able to tell you the uh, the, the uh, types of cyclones they are. This one is the ground anti-ground, this one's anti-air, and this one can do both. That's the MT. Honestly, that's the variant I would go with if you want combat. And then over here, you're going to have a racing variant, a scanning variant that's more for like radar, and uh, probably just a standard run of the mill cyclone. So, really cool sh uh, vehicles, too. They, I love the way that they drive. Uh, they are a little bit over responsive sometimes, but uh, the cyclones are fun little vehicles. Rent one if you've never driven one and go spawn them on a planet and have fun. Next up, in the hollow tanks, what do we have here? This is Crusader Industries Genesis Star Liner. Uh, it looks like it might have been reconcepted a little bit already. 
that's interesting because I knew it was going to get a little bit of a reconcept. Maybe it'll be reconcepted some more. This kind of looks like Iron Man in the front. What do you guys think? Iron Man with some little wings out here? Anyways. Uh, this was a ship that I bought in early on. Before they had all the ideas on how it would be used. I mean, it's a Starliner. It's like an airplane for space travel. You can imagine fleets of these things flying around, taking tons and tons of passengers from port to port. That, that could be pretty profitable if you have a few of them. So, I did pick up one. I really like it. Well, let's see what's behind door number two. This is the Tumbrel Ranger. This is a motorcycle, obviously, that Tumbrel has put out. It's going to have the wheels similar to that of the Cyclone. This is one of the only ones that I've seen that is actual ground-based and not grab lap based So I'm really interested to see the difference in how this thing maneuvers and uh, drives compared to the grab lap models of bikes out there. Obviously, this is going to have some setbacks, and those should have a few as well, but yeah, who knows. So guys, what do you think of Crusader Industries and Humble Land Systems? Are there anything here that you want to get? Which ones do you already have? Uh, I pretty much have all of these. Uh, so, yeah, I, I don't. there's not one that I want. I've got them. Uh, I got the Ares when they both came on concept, thankfully, because I get the cool paint jobs. Which, by the way, you can get some different paint jobs for that particular ship right now as well. And I'm sure you can get the paint jobs for the Hercules uh, ships as well on the website. So definitely check those out. Thank you guys for tuning in once again. I really do appreciate it. If you're interested in joining my Patreon or my YouTube members, I would appreciate it. Uh, you guys are awesome. And honestly, uh, you guys have kept me from going uh, bankrupt this month. <laughs> At least uh, going, having my count go down to zero. Uh, you've definitely helped me out a ton, and I can't thank you enough. That information will be in the description of the video, as well as how to join my org. If you're interested in doing that, make sure you put an application in on the website and on uh, Gilded. Both of that will be listed in the description, too. Thank you once again. I'm Mud Dog with the Texas Space Navy, and I'll see you out in the verse. <laughs>